How's everyone doing? Hope you're all right. Um, Cold there, back again. Uh, today's video um, is going to be on the search um, by the police of a convicted murderer, Sean Wormsley, who um, is serving a 30-year tariff uh, or a life 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 sentence, um, serving 30 years for murder. Um, he escaped from, I believe it's Aintree University Hospital or something. He was sprung by two of his boys. Uh, with a shooter and a knife. Um, he was taken to hospital, for those that don't know, he was taken to hospital on a medical appointment from um, Walton Prison or Oak Course in Liverpool. He's gone there on a medical appointment and two of his boys have sprung him. He was with two prison officers in an escort. Um, they've jumped out, they've gripped him and they obviously they've got off in a gold gold coloured Volvo. Um, so today, it's just like, obviously, as a convict, as a criminal, um, who's been wanted by the police numerous times, who's been on the run and stuff, um, I'm going to speak today about where the police are going to be searching for him, who the police are going to be targeting, um, and obviously what Sean, where he'll be, like, what he'll be up to, where he'll be hiding and stuff. Um, Right, anyway, so obviously he's got off, right? So obviously police, uh, I think police have arrested, there's news this morning uh, that police have arrested two people um, over this escape. Um, the arrest, the police will be looking all over for him, right? What what they do, the prison, right, and the police, they'll share information. So th this is giving people an inside like, view to what goes on, right? The, the prison, right, will release information to the police about... Who was visiting Sean Wormsley in the run-up to the escape? Um, whose whose numbers were on his prison phone number? Obviously, he's got to have had one of these, right, to, to do it. Right, it's simple as that, right. But the the, um, the police will be handed information about who who his visitors were, who were approved visitors on his list, um, any contact numbers that were on his prison pin number. Um, and then the recordings from them phone calls when obviously he's been ringing his loved ones, blah, blah, blah. Um, they'll be probably put onto a CD or something and like downloaded for the police to listen to. So they can see if there's any code words and things like that that are being used. Um, the police have uh, allegedly arrested two people. Um, the gold coloured Volvo, I believe, has been recovered. Um, the thing is, the, the one thing I'm shocked about with the lads are obviously very switched on kids. Um, He's escaped from prison after all. But the thing is, what I don't understand is when they've when they fucked off out of this gold colour beat um, Volvo, why they've not burnt it, right? I, I don't understand that because you're leaving forensics there. Well, right, you, they might they will have been gloved up and that, so there's no fingerprints on a wheel and handbrake, um, handbrake and um, obviously gear stick and all that sort of either. But the thing is, when you sat back and all that, yeah, you close, they leave like micro tiny threads and stuff, and the police can like get the sellotape thing, what they do, and you can swab it and all that sort of stuff and take it and then like, so you're leaving DNA, yeah, so I don't understand why they didn't just burn it out, uh, but they've obviously, they might have been in an hurry to get off, obviously the police were going to be on the tails and everything else and it's a very distinctive car that they was using. So the police are going to be going through the door of obviously his, his, his immediate family and the people that were on his visitors list and things like that. Um, Sean's going to be keeping a low profile, obviously, um, <clears throat> might be getting about with um, disguises on and all that sort of stuff. He'll stay like I'm talking to someone that's being wanted by the police, yeah. And they, obviously, you get about and you do what you're doing, right? You got to keep a low profile. Um, he's a hot potato, so no one, whoever's like hiding him, they're not going to want to keep him there for too long because they know the longer he sits at a proper air, the chances are that the, the police are going to be zeroing in. So it needs to be like a hot potato, right? So he needs to jump from one address to the other address, to the other address, to the other address, to the other address, and bam, bam, bam. Use them as safe houses, right? Keep a low profile and everything else. Um, obviously, he's not going to be using his bank or anything like that because obviously if he uses his bank card, um, it'll alert the police. The police will be on this waiting for this. So if he uses his bank card or anything at an ATM, um, they're going to be on it because they'll be able to get the CCTV because obviously when you use a cash point, there's a camera that looks up um, at you so you don't see it 
but it's there, right? So that could get him on camera taking money out. Obviously, the fact that if he did a transaction as well, that had alert the authorities as well. So obviously, he's not stupid. Um, so he's going to keep himself to the ground. He's going to be jumping between addresses, obviously. He's not going to stay in one particular address. When people escape from the police um, and are wanted and everything, I've never escaped from prison, but I have been wanted um, a lot. And I, I, I'd never stayed out in... Um, I never used to stay out at family's addresses or friends' addresses or anything like that. I used to stay in bed and breakfast, me. Um, I used to stay in bed and breakfast that were that were out of the way. Little small villages, towns, out of the area, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, everybody's different. Everyone's got a reason why they do what they do and why, they, why they're on the run and everything. Um, everything, the police oh, the police are going to be throwing a hell of a lot of manpower at this search for Sean Wormsley. Um, obviously, it's embarrassing for the Ministry of Justice that um, the prisoner's been allowed to escape. The fact that he's doing a 30-year tariff, people can't understand why he's got his cat category B, uh, why he's a cat B prisoner uh, that early on. But again, I uh, went into that yesterday on my other video. Um, like I say, I'm not trying to, like, my support is for Sean. Um, uh, I don't, people are slagging me off on my other video saying this guy he stabbed someone to death 28 times, he killed someone. Uh, listen, I'm not here to judge nobody, me, who am I? I've been a convict, I've been in prison, I don't, when you're in prison you mix with murderers, killers, fraudsters, fucking people that committed manslaughter, death by dangerous. You, you don't, you don't, the only people I judge me are rapists and nonces, right? So I just want to address that situation. Got no child molesters, nonces, rapists, right? No, they they deserve to hang for what they've done, yeah, man. Um, but everyone else, I don't. I've got who am I to judge anybody? You know what I mean? I'm not one of them. So anyway, yeah. So what he'll be doing? Um, the it, normally what people do when when they are like wanted and stuff, they they actually as mad as this might sound to people, people won't be able to get their head around this. Rather than escape in the area they're from, they'll stay in the area that they're, they're from, because that's where the police will think, right? Right, normal people that think outside the box would think, right, this guy should have got out of Liverpool, should get out of the area. But obviously, the police know that people that are wanted, right, they stay close to their area because that's where the boys are, you know what I mean? He might have connections all over the country, yeah, man, and that's where he may be. But what they normally do is they normally stay under the nose of the police in the same area, Um and like I say, this is going to be it's going to be a long drawn out search from the police and stuff, and they're going to be throwing a hell of a lot of manpower um, at it, and they're going to be going door, through doors left, right, and centre. Um, obviously, they have to get they have to go to court. For those that don't know the process for searches and stuff, what they have to do, um, they have to have reasonable cause the police to believe that someone is wanted. Uh, obviously, that someone is harbouring him. So what they'll do, they go to court. They have to apply to court. The judges give these fucking these um, warrants out willy nilly because obviously the police and the courts and the pr like the police, the courts, the prison, they're all fucking, they're all pissing the same pot, you know what I mean? They're all, they're all corrupt and that. So what they're going to do, they'll apply for the court. The, the warrant will be issued. The, the warrants are just given out like fucking there's none tomorrow. You know what I mean, they're on tap. Um, then the police will get kitted up. The, they'll have a briefing in the morning and stuff of, cause obviously they're going to be raiding people like, early hours of the morning, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got, I've been raided, an address was raided for me, I think about 10 to 6 in the morning, 10 to 5 in the morning, I can't remember, one of the two. Um, so what the police do, um, they, they'll, obviously, they've said that do not approach Sean and his associates and that, because obviously dangerous like, lads and that, doing a bit of this and a bit of that, um, don't approach them. So the police will go, they'll, they'll sit down, they'll do these, they do recce's and stuff, they'll drive past an address, They'll go on Google, like Google Earth, Google Maps, Street View, and things like that. Uh, then they'll, they'll save them images, and then it'll show the access for the building, front, back. Have they got have they got attack dogs, police dogs? Have they got a dogs? Um, what's the access like? What are the escape routes? Um, the way in, the way out. The, the police the police plan, plan proper for these. Um, obviously, when they go in and stuff, they're going to go in hard. Um, the, the fact that there was a shooter used in the... Um, in the escape, um, obviously one of the lads pulled a shooter and the one lad pulled a knife. Um, armed police are going to probably be um, police and the ARVs. For those that don't know, ARVs means armed response vehicles. They're obviously going to be involved as well. But what they do in the in the lead up to these raids and stuff, to, to when they're going to execute one of these warrants, uh, the police, they sit down, um, they have like a briefing. 
and then they'll have all these images from Google Earth and Street View and all this sort of stuff. They'll all have it downloaded, who the occupants are, because they will run background PNCs, police national computer checks, which will load any intelligence on the people in these addresses. If there's any markers for firearms or anything like that, same with vehicles that they're going to track and stuff. Uh, what the police will do uh, if they carry out these warrants and stuff like that, um, if if they're going to arrest the person that they think's harboring him, they'll just arrest them. Um, they'll be cuffed. They'll be sat in the front room, sat in the bedroom, whatever, while the police carry out searches. While the police are carrying out these searches, um, I'm speaking from experience here. Right? If the police are going to carry out searches and stuff, what they what they often do, th th this guy's um, a convicted murderer and everything, right? So what the police will do. Uh, when every like if they've got if they've taken the prisoner away the the person they've arrested for harboring um, Sean, um, what they'll do is they'll plant um, they'll plant listening devices so bugs as they're known uh, within the property. If they if they if they're a hundred percent or even believe that there's a chance that he's been in this address, right? Then what they do they plant a bug within within the property and stuff. They're supposed to have warrants for all this, but like I say, warrants are given out willy nilly. And then what they'll do they'll listen in and stuff like that. Um, to any phone conversations, things like that. They can put trackers on vehicles as well if they believe the vehicle's been used to to move in from A to B. Uh, they can they can actually track other vehicles as well. Um, like I say, the police are unfortunately the police are well funded and stuff. For the most part, they're useless. They're understaffed. They're overstretched and everything else. But um, the fact is, they're going to be throwing a hell of a lot of manpower at finding Sean Wormsley and his associates and that. Like I say, I hope they get off. I hope they, they, they run free and that, and I hope he never gets caught. But like I say, um, the, the net, they'll be trying to close the net in on him, but obviously he'll be evasive and be doing what he's doing. He'll, he'll just be like, obviously, he's not going to be able to relax and stuff. He, he won't be getting much sleep. Um, he'll, be in an, he'll be in between addresses and stuff. <clears throat> um, the thing is with the criminal underworld as well is like, the, the police will start offering money. What what you'll see now is as as the as it takes as the time period gets longer and longer since his escapes and stuff. What the police will do then to to they'll they'll dangle a carrot. They'll offer um, money, ten grand, twenty grand, twenty five grand, um, to to hand it for people to lead for people to pass information leading to Sean's arrest and Sean's associates arrest who busted him out. Um, but like I say, within the criminal underworld that I've been involved with, uh, you don't speak to the police. Um, and money means, like, loyalty means more than money. So, like, if 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 it was my boy and the police came and said, listen, we know you're with him, we know you're wrong with him, i just I'd, I'd keep my gob short, go no comment. Um, the, the police would be like, oh, well, you, there's, a, there's, a, there's a reward, 20 grand and all this. Listen, shove your money up your ass, mate. I, I don't, not a grass, you know what I mean? Fucking snitches get stitches and all that, my vault. No place for grasses, mate. Um, like I say, so they'll be offering money and stuff. People, if they've got anything about him that are loyal to him, they, they, they know that they'll turn it down and they'll fuck it off. They're not interested in money. Loyalty means more. And the thing is within the criminal underworld as well is people will harbour people. Like, if you've been on the run and stuff, then you understand. So then you'd put somebody else up that's on the run. Do you know what I mean, I know you can get you can get years in prison for harboring a wanted fugitive and all the rest of the crap. Uh, like I say, but um, loyalty means more than money. And like I say, the lo the loyalty stands for a lot. I mean, to some people, loyalty is just a word. Um, to me and to other people, um, it's not just a word. It's a way of life. Uh, so like I said, he won't be getting much sleep and stuff. He he'll, he'll be sleeping when he can and stuff. Um, he, there's there's two ways he can go. Like if they do trace him and they do eventually catch him and stuff, there's two ways he could go. It could end up in a standoff, in a siege situation where um, he barricades himself in and he, he could have a firearm or a shoot or, or whatever. Or because that's the way the police are going to go. The police are not going to go just like tasered up and that. They're gonna they're gonna have armed response police on this definitely leading these. Like when they're going through the door, it will be armed police and stuff like that. Um, because the shooter he was using, he escaped, so they're going to be on it, um, obviously. So, like I say, but the thing is, they're, they're just going to, the, the, the police are going to be chasing, like, running around in circles for the part. He's not going to be stupid. Sean's not going to be staying with friends or family at the time. It, it, it'll be between addresses. It could be a friend's friend of a friend, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. So you're on the, but everyone seems to stay local to the area um, for which they're wanted. Like, if you're from Manchester, like I am, you stay local to Manchester. Manchester's a hell of a big place. It's the second biggest, I think it's the second biggest police force in the country. 
um, because of how big it is and how like dangerous and like crime levels and stuff. So, but you'd stay local to the area. So Manchester, Greater Manchester, and obviously within the Greater. The, the, the thing is, the police. I think the police are going to struggle to catch him. Um, obviously, they'll be using cell site and stuff for mobile phones for anyone that they thinks. Because obviously, with on with on Sean's prison like phone number pin, they'll have contact numbers and stuff. So with these contact numbers and stuff, the police can use cell site to track these phones. All they need is a phone number. They can get the warrant from the judge, no problem. So then they can use cell site to see where these people are going and stuff. Then, like I say, the raiding houses, then the planting hearing devices, bugging devices within these properties. Um, and then obviously then what they're doing, they can put trackers on cars and stuff. It all adds up and stuff in, in the uh, intelligence and stuff and the like to try and t to watch him and stuff, to see where he's going, to see what they're doing, to see who's who's local to him, who's nearest to him, who's his nearest and dearest are and all the rest of it. And like I say, it's a game of cat and mouse, but I'm f like, Sean's leading, the Sean's in charge, mate. He's going where he wants to go and the police are just trying to follow him and try and keep up with him and everything. When he, when he's, if he is recaptured, which I hope he isn't, um, he'll be catted off and end up in strange ways um, on the cat A wing as an escapee and stuff. Get extra time added to his sentence, but it's all, it's all minute really. He's not bothered, he's doing 30 years. Um, anyway guys this is just an insight from a criminal's perspective um, hope you enjoy watching it um, leave your comments below subscribe follow all that good stuff speak to you soon bye